like this. Hi guys, <coughs> this is uh, Bob here and uh, I'm actually going to be showing you around, well, the whole idea is I'm going to show you my favourite app uh, on the iPad 2, but uh, first of all, what you're actually going to see is this app that I've just downloaded and it's, uh, well, I've forgotten what it's actually called now, um, but basically it works like, um, works like, a bit like uh, ScreenFlow for Mac. So um, it allows me to show you around the screen of my iPad. Um, so I'm going to get started and uh, roll around now. I mean, the, the minute it's it needs work. This app. I mean, you can see in the top there you've got the the red bar to show you that it's actually recording, and it's a little bit laggy uh, on the recording side, or it seems to be. So until I've actually fully uploaded it and seen how it goes, I don't really know how it's going to look and it allows you to record sound at the same time. Its biggest problem is if I was to pick a, an app now that also records sound, it would give you, um, it would actually cut the sound out because you've owned an app that wants to use the sound record side of things. Uh, the other thing that it uh, does, it does give you the option to uh, port these into iMovie so that you can alter them, uh, so that you can uh, play around with them and make them look the way you want. Uh, I haven't been able to actually move it across into iMovie so far, it always says that it's failed to do it. Um, so yeah, um, I suppose it's just, you know, a few updates maybe. I'd be interested also if anybody's got this on the iPad 3 to see if it works any better. Uh, you can see my desktop there, um, the picture of the Vitruvian Man by uh, Da Vinci. Um, quite a nice, uh, it's actually one of my favourite pictures actually. But anyway, let's get on to my favourite app, which is, of course, many of you will already know, is Tweetbot. Much better than the standard Twitter app. Um, I just, I just love it. It, um, I mean, it's just so usable. Um, much better than the standard app. Uh, you've, I mean, when you use it on the iPhone, uh, you've even got uh, some buttons that you can alter uh, to suit how you want them to work. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I'm on this basically every night, uh, unless, unless I've been working late. Uh, so, you know, I mean, you can, you've got your profile, search, it, it's, it's all just there for you, down the side. Your messages, mentions, your timeline, and also you can see, uh, as another tweet comes through, you will also see that it actually... Um, is capable of um, pinning to the top uh, quite nicely, uh, which I find works much better than the actual uh, genuine Twitter app. Um, I mean, it's it's just my main connection with you guys out there. Um, I haven't got another tweet coming through, so you can't see it actually uh, pinning to the top here. But um, if you if you are a, a big fan of Twitter then definitely um, you should really consider Tweetbot because it really is a fantastic um, app for uh, reading your, uh, your timeline on. Um, you know, I mean, Facebook, I'm not that big on it anymore. I use Google Plus a bit, Path, but Tweetbot, definitely. I use Twitter every day, very regularly. Um, but uh, anyway, I'm going to finish this video off now. And what I would like you, uh, what I'd like to see basically underneath this video when I finally get it up to YouTube, is I would like to see some, um, I'd like to see some, you know, some um, replies from people that have either used the app and also to let me know uh, how you think it's worked, um, sound recording and video recording. Um, so I'm going to go back into that now. Uh, Display record, that's what it's called, and it's uh, I think it's about one pound fifty in the app store. That's uh, if they haven't taken it down. I hope they don't take it down because uh, it's quite a handy app, uh, and you can see that uh, I've got the timer down at the bottom of the screen that's now running up to uh, four minutes and thirty five seconds since I started the video. Uh, you can see at the side I've got two there that if I were to edit I can remove those two record pre recordings, and when I finish recording this, uh, you get a little. Uh, 
a little box comes up tells you that uh, it's merging the uh, the audio and the video together. Um, if I open the settings section there, you can see it gives you a few things that you can change: the capture method, uh, video quality, that sort of thing. Obviously, I should imagine if I drop the quality, then it could probably give me a better um, a better speed on it. But it does seem a little laggy when I've uh, watched them back. So anyway, let me go know what you think of this, and uh, remember, Tweetbot, that's my favourite app, and uh, I'd like, uh, like to hear some of your views on this app anyway, definitely, more than anything else. So I'm going to sign off now, guys, and hopefully I'll be able to get this up to YouTube soon. Okay, cheers, guys. Oh, and don't forget, I want to see plenty of thumbs-ups on this one. All right, see you guys.